Hello, this is Foxboy55 Gaming, and welcome back to another video. Um, yeah, today we're going to be doing a new Star of a New series where we're just going to go grab a bunch of weapons and we're going to try them against a bunch of bosses. And I've got a few here, but we're going to be fighting one in particular. And we're going to find them with each of these individual weapons. So these are from the Thorium mod. These are all of the, the new thrower weapons. Well, these two are new. These two are old. But we've got Terra Knife. So this just throws out a knife and he has a right click, which stays into enemies and does constant damage. We have the Dragon Fang, which throws a bunch of knives. But when it hits an enemy, it shoots a burst of fire. Let's see if I can hit this slime. There we go. We have the tidal wave. Now this thing, it spews out a shuriken and then it shoots waves. And this thing can also go through walls. And then we've got Dides Trifork, which when it hits an enemy will release like a burst of water. As you can see, like a bunch of knives. We're wearing the tidal, um, the titan's armor from Thorium. And we've got the, the thrower helmet instead of the melee one. So this will allow us. So I don't know whether you saw me, but sometimes when I kill an enemy, it will release a burst of knives. Um, from myself and then they'll go and home in on enemies so that's quite good uh, we've got the celestial traces from calamity the lich enchantment fargos alchemist thing oh let's see if we can get it from this oh no we didn't adamantine enchantment which means that my projectiles can sometimes split so let me see if i can show you look sometimes they split uh, we've got the the guide to throw a volume three just because there's no the full set anymore we've got lunar walkers from my mod titanium enchantment asgard's valor from calamity celestial shield mana flower and healing flower and the mana flower we don't really need as much in fact i might go and try and find better accessory let's see if we can find a good accessory what about the astral ball work no let me type in enchantment and then we can have a look there's the uh, i know enchantment um the um oh, what's it called the gladiator enchantment right so this just means that our projectiles will speed up over time look oh that means that they don't arc anymore then that actually means that they can go further. That's good. There is also a thing with Thorium. I don't know whether you can see, but if I throw this, can you see there's like a tear underneath me that's gradually building up? That is actually something from Thorium, where if I read you, basically if you overuse any non-consumable throwing weapons, it actually has a counter, and then eventually, when that counter's full, it will cause exhaustion, which means all of these weapons will only deal one damage until the timer runs out. So it's a little bit annoying, but that's just how Thorium works. There we go, there's the knives. So we're going to find Abaddon from sacred tools and maybe the lost siblings i've never fought them before they're replacing the lunarians so let's do it abaddon against didis trifork there we go this guy's from sacred tools or shadows of abaddon if you uh, don't know so yeah let's just try this out now abaddon i personally really like this boss is quite cool he was cool before the update as well i have fought this guy since on my melee character so i have fought the new version Right, now we have to kill all of these guys. It's very cool. Uh, yeah, we are just attempting Thorn's Throw class. Maybe we'll try classes from other mods, or like maybe Calamity's Rogue class, which basically is Thrower, but whatever. Okay, these guys seem to take... Oh no, we've got overuse. Can you see the, t the counter's going red? It means all of these now are doing one damage. Uh, because the counter's overfilled. So basically, what we can do is we can keep using this until that counter runs out. There we go, it's gotten down now. <laughs> It's really annoying, but at the same time, that's, um, it does force you to use other weapons, but obviously we've all got non consumable ones. Right, come on, Abaddon. Oh, we still need uh, Nightmare Catchers. We also do have the, uh, the, um, oh, what's it called? Prefixes Frenemies. I never forget the name. I never remember the, the, uh, the name of that. But yeah, we have Prefixes Frenemies, which means that sometimes mobs and bosses can spawn with cool buffs and stuff. Or, like, sizes. It's really cool. Right, the counter's back to full. It's really short. Right, there we go. It's unfilled now. Right, let's just see if we can hit Abaddon only. Right, the counter's about to get full again. Right, come on. Okay, it's full again, which means we're only going to be dealing one or two damage. Oops, I had to do something right. That did give my counts time to refill though. Oh yeah, we have these amulets from my mod. Right, come on. Come on, Abaddon. There we go. Right, counters under. Oh, now we have to kill all of these things. I forgot about this form. 
Right, if we just stand here, actually, these are homing on him. Right, ow, this guy does hurt. He is a post moon lord boss, so. Right, this counter's about to get full again. Come on, Abaddon. Ow. I've always said that Abaddon should be the final boss from Sacred Tools, since the mod is called Shadows of Abaddon, and Abaddon's meant to be, like, the big boss in Sacred Tools. It's actually the first uh, um, post-mortal boss. There's actually two other ones. There used to be one called the Challenger, but I don't know where he is now. Right, there we go. Reality's shifted. I don't exactly know what that means, but that is Abaddon killed with that, and I've realised I've took off the wrong flower. Uh, we got this. This thing's cool, actually. If you right-click, it sends like a bunch of daggers coming down. Uh, we do also have Ancients Awakened in here, which I've never used before, but we do have that. Uh, that's Vortex, so, so that was from Sacred Tools, not um, that. Abaddon Mask. Do you know what? That actually looks alright. Yeah, look, there's a small thing in there. So now we're going to try the same, but we're going to try it with this instead. Um... I don't know how this is going to work. Right, come on, let's try this. I think we might try this, the Lost Siblings in a different episode, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but let's try these. So these are really good. These can do quite a lot of damage. They don't do quite as much as the, the Dynasty Strike, but these do 413. 473, sorry, these do 319. I will have to use the amulet again soon, just to increase my damage. <coughs> but yeah, these do a lot of damage. Especially with the split projectiles, thanks to that adamantite enchantment, it can really work. Right, now we're only dealing one damage, one or two damage, because we've got the stupid counter on, which I absolutely hate. As I said, all we have to do is we just have to kill these guys now. Right. We are dealing a lot of damage. Right, there we go. Right, if we just do this, then these guys are just going to come down to us. As I said, these do go through the floor as well. Uh, oh. Right, come on, Abaddon. I don't know how the other two throwing weapons are going to work, because they're not post moon Lord, they're, like, hard mode. <coughs> there you go, we are managing to keep back some of his um, minions that he's summoning. Come on, Abaddon. Right. Oh, they've got the counters undone now. I don't know whether the throwing projectiles that these suit up, these tidal waves, I don't know whether they get affected by the, the buff. There we go. There we go, this is doing a lot of damage. Where is Abaddon? There he is. Oh god, he's going to do the stupid circle thing soon. I'm not a fan of the circle thing. There you go. Right. <coughs> Come on, just undo the thing. There we go. Right, now, now I can actually start dealing damage. Right, if I do that, there we go. Oh god, the stupid circle thing. Okay, now we're only dealing one or two damage, which is awful. Come on. I really hate this. It's really annoying. There we go. I really hate this. Right, come on, Abaddon. Oh god, the cancer about to go back up again. Oh, come on. This is really annoying. Right, come on. Ow. Okay, he might actually kill us. If we're not careful. 
and we're doing a lot of damage, so I really do not want to die. <gasps> oh, thank God I used that amulet. Right. Ah! Oh, I can use the amulet again. There we go. Right, come on. Come on. Snap it on. This boss fight is very intense. <laughs> I like it though. I like Abaddon. There we go. Oh. That was hard. That was very hard. Life Ember. Fragment of a Burning Soul. No idea what this does. Life Ember. So you need this now to make these. Bright Bone. Oh, this is a throwing arm set. Okay, so it's good the Sacred Tools has got some new throws. Well, that's a new enemy that I haven't seen before. Oh my god, these guys are terrifying. Okay, Sacred Tools has got some very interesting enemies now. Ow. Right, I'm not entirely sure whether these weapons are going to do enough damage against Abaddon. I don't think they are, actually. But, for the sake of this video, we're going to try... Which one ever does most damage? The, the Dragon Knife. I'll try that. The Terror Knife, I'm not entirely sure whether this thing's strong enough. What the hell does he drop? Life Ember. Huh. Get lost! These post moon lord enemies are so tough. <laughs> Literally. Oh my god, look at all these enemies from Sacred Tools. It was just a vacuum and then we could throw everything away. Oh wow, that is not fair. See these these sacred tools enemies are not playing around. Right, let's fight Abaddon again. Right, this time we're going to be using the Dragon Fang. Now, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go, because this is not a post moon Lord weapon. It, it seems to actually be alright. I mean, we do have a post moon Lord armor set. So, I'm hoping that with them we should be okay. Okay, it's not doing that much damage at all. I'll tell you what, we'll just go until we die, or until we eventually kill him. And then we'll end the episode off there. Okay, the counter's full. But as I said, we can still do quite a lot of damage. Right, come on, Abaddon. I really hate this counter thing. Come on, I need them to start splitting to three then, more often. This is really good, actually, this, uh, this dragon fang. You get this from Betsy, I think. If you have Thorium in sword, then she should drop this as one of her drops now. It's called Throne Weapon. It's just a stupid buff I hate. Come on, Abaddon. I really like Abaddon. I think he's such a cool boss from Sacred Tools. As I said, he should be the final one, seen as the mod is named Shadows of Abaddon, and he's meant to be like the main guy. Uh, right. We do have all of this asphalt and these asphalt platforms, which are quite good. There we go. Oh, wrong weapon. Oh god, I'm not taking on that guy. That guy's tough. Right. <coughs> right, come on. We're managing to take out a lot of these mobs. Right. We've only just got onto this form, which is really worrying. Right. Okay. Well, that we're well, we're dead then. 
so yeah, I think what we've learnt is that Abaddon is really, really tough. I, th I have a feeling that these guys are going to come back. Uh, yeah, that was quite fun though. If you do want to let me know, by the way, like of any other boss battles we can do, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of boss battles. So yes, this one as well. Uh, then let me know, and we can try them out. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye.